These are the primeval needs and urges of the male and female to enable them to survive. These feelings are strong. They cannot be denied. Nobody can deny nature. We shall do the man first. The man arrives on a deserted tropical island out of nowhere. He's just there. It's always a tropical island. The man does not know where he is. He looks around. He sees thick foliage and trees, and he feels that it is warm. And then suddenly his primeval urges awaken and they tell him he must find water. He needs water to survive. These feelings are strong. They cannot be denied. The man starts walking off into the foliage, looking for water. He finally comes across a stream that is coming from the hills of the island. He sees the water is clear. He tastes the water, and it is good. He gathers up some thick leaves and wraps them into a bowl and makes a pouch to carry the water. He straps the pouch around him with vines and reeds. And then another primeval urge awakens and tells him he needs food to survive. Water is not enough. He looks up at the tall trees on the island and at the top he sees fruit. He must climb this tall tree if he is to get the fruit. The man is built strong, muscular, agile. He will be able to climb the tree easily to get the fruit. So the man scales the tree and finally reaches the top and is picking the fruit when he hears a noise. He looks down and he sees what he thinks is a wild pig running through the foliage. He smiles as this is meat. He will be able to hunt the wild pig as meat will sustain him far better than the fruit. And where there is one wild pig, there must be more. His primeval urges wane slightly as he scales back down the tree and into the foliage. But as he's eating the fruit, another primeval urge awakens and it is strong. It cannot be denied. He must find shelter from the elements. He must find a place that is safe and dry. So the man wanders off into the foliage, looking for shelter. He finally comes across a cave that he sees is vacant. He checks the cave and finds that it is dry. This will be a safe place for his base. His primeval urges wane greatly and he sits down on a rock and continues to eat the fruit and relax. His mind starts to wander and then another primeval urge arrives and tells him he must find a mate. He must find a female to mate with. This urge is strong and cannot be denied. We will now do the primeval urges of survival for the female. A female arrives on a deserted tropical island out of nowhere. She's just there. The female does not know where she is. She looks around to convey her scenery and sees that it is beautiful. Lots of many bright, pretty colors. 
and then her primeval urges awaken. They cannot be denied. She must find water to survive. She must find food to survive. She must find shelter to protect her to survive. And her primeval urges tell her she must find a man. She must find a male who has acquired all these. And she will be able to drink his water, eat his food and share his shelter. These urges are strong. They cannot be denied. The woman walks off into the foliage in search of a man. As the woman is walking through the foliage, she is happy and sad at the same time. And then another primeval urge arrives. She feels like she wants to moan and nag. And once again her primeval urges tell her she must find a man, she must find a male to nag to. These urges are strong, they cannot be denied. Finally, they come across each other. The man looks at the female and sees that she is pretty. He is pleased. The woman looks at the man and sees that he has a water pouch and she is pleased. As the woman is moaning and nagging at the man about not enough water and there's hardly any food, the man gives her a right good banging. The man finishes and he is pleased. Thus all the primeval urges for survival for the male and the female have been satisfied. And now symbiosis can begin. Here endeth the lesson.